What's up? So, further pondering has taken place. I've been thinking about a lot what's happened, like last night, and with those videos, and with the content in the videos that I've been making for the last, like, year, two years, year and a half year, whatever. Like, yeah, since I started making videos about personal stuff, I don't know what just happened in my heart. Um, yeah. I'm not trying to put anyone else's bits in me. Fucking, I feel like something in me just did that. But it was, like, subliminal. Like, yeah, fucking stop it. So, my perspective only. Alright? <laughs> Can I speak from my perspective only for one video? Okay. So, yeah. How I came to understand kind of what has happened... It can go one of two ways, because I don't know absolute truth, of course, but it can go one of two ways. <laughs> Either, like, I think essentially what's happened is, so my soul, the soul of this body, like the one I was born with, is called two, and two is my perspective. And what has essentially been going down for the last, like, little, fat little minute here <laughs> is people essentially fucking wrestling me internally from my perspective so that they can take it and, like, live life through my perspective and, like, yeah, reap the benefits of it and shit. And... These are, like, all people who, like, if I would go based on what happened in the third dimension, these are people that I assumed, like, well, I had good reason to not assume. These are people that I understood to, like, hate me, to, like, not like me at all, and to, like, you know, not want to be in my life, and to, yeah, people that were done with me, and people that didn't want to be with, like, be around me, be in my energy, be any of these things. That's how I understood it. That's what they would tell me, and that's how they behaved. However, <laughs> what actually ended up happening afterward was they all kind of, like, went with me. And they wouldn't leave me alone! <laughs> and I wanted to be left alone. And I wanted to, like, meditate, and to, like, go within, and to learn things about myself, to heal my past traumas, I wanted to to learn my like learn who I was and to be myself like authentically holy me that's what I wanted and I've been like working on this for a minute because I had been palpably feeling like I had lost something very dear to me like something that was kind of essential to the nature of my being which is my perspective quite important man it's the most sacred part of the mind and i yeah you're gonna be kind of boned until you get that back in your head like yeah i wasn't able to really do anything in terms of like what i actually wanted to be doing with this life until i got that back and like from the perspective that i was living life through i didn't understand like what my soul was up to i didn't understand Yeah, I didn't understand that my soul was like getting me to do things, look at things, understand things in order to make the connections that would allow me to put my own bits back together because I did not understand that they had been swapped around. And yeah, it was so jumbled up that I just didn't know. Couldn't fucking tell what the hell was going on. I didn't know what reality was. I didn't know anything about who I was. I gaslit myself out of who I was constantly. And it's like when they're talking in my head versus when I open up my phone to begin speaking, whenever they do come through, it's like, yeah, like, I don't know. There, there's two very different faces to the, to the whole situation. There's the one that happens on the inside that I experience. And then there's the one that comes out when I start speaking. <laughs> and they are often quite different. It's, 
like the the true content of what I'm trying to like convey in the videos ends up coming out usually. Like it usually ends up coming out some way anyway. But Yeah, I was paying attention there to what was going on in my mind. It, like it usually ends up coming out anyway, because what's done in the dark comes to light and all this shit. You're like, hey. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> so, and yeah, it's either it's either they all just couldn't stop drinking my energy like it was some fucking nectar, dog. <laughs> like, it was junkies for my goddamn energy. But they didn't want to fucking, you know, they, they, like, they wanted it on a different level, I think, than what I was kind of permitting in 3D, I guess. And they were kind of, they didn't have my attention, so they made sure <laughs> that they had my attention. <laughs> they made sure. And it's like, y'all, like, yeah. Uh, y'all we could just be friends like <laughs> we could just like be friends it wouldn't have to be this like mental game it wouldn't have to be like this tuggy tuggy fucking yeah it wouldn't have to be like that and my energy would be freely given but it would have to be under like actual consensual terms and all this without the gaslighting and all that shit <laughs> like, yeah you know. hey, so like for what it's worth I still love all of y'all everyone I've ever loved I still do but but that don't mean I love you enough to give my body like bits of my energetic body just let them fucking fly all the fuck around and, like, it don't mean I love y'all quite like that <laughs> Yeah, 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 but yeah, it's all, it's okay. I'm Mama Shiva. I'm here to give. I'm of service to this world. I already have everything I need, like, in my wholeness, <laughs> when I actually have myself. I have everything I need, and, um, I like when y'all laugh when I say that I'm a fucking human being. <laughs> I like how y'all laugh. <laughs> it's validating. All right. <laughs>